Hi there. I want to talk to the guys for a little bit about how a man's defensiveness actually hurts his wife. When you get defensive, I know you're just trying to protect yourself from attack, blame, or criticism. Most often, a man defends himself with avoidance or explanations. Occasionally, he will counterattack. But whatever has become your default position, you must understand that you're not just defending yourself. You're also hurting her. You're sending the message that you don't care about her, and that's going to hurt. Fight, flight, and freeze are natural, automatic responses to physical and emotional threats. Your autonomic nervous system raises your blood pressure and your heart rate. Your breathing changes. Maybe you feel a tightness in your neck, back, or even your throat. Your stomach might feel queasy. Those are all signs that you're about to go into default mode. The problem is, all this happens in a nanosecond. You don't have time to think. From a survival perspective, you can't take time to think. That's why it's automatic. No one can use their cognitive processes to analyze a situation when their nervous system is on high alert. That's why you need to study her and why I created a quick start guide to understanding women. You can download it free on my website and learn what makes her tick, what makes her say and do the things she does, You can't learn this when your brain and body have you in self-protect mode. Instead, you need to study her when things are not heated. Knowing how she operates will help you remain calm, plus give you more effective strategies to use when things start to get tense. I recommend you memorize the seven principles first. Then you can more easily learn how to protect yourself without hurting her and to prevent turning a simple misunderstanding into a full-blown argument. In the meantime, what can you do when something she says seems to come out of the blue? The most common problem is you don't know how to respond. The first thing you want to train yourself to do is to say something. Believe it or not, you can even say, I don't know what to say. At least you're saying something. Now, if you're in a confident frame of mind, and she is too, you can take it a step further. Say, I don't understand, and I want to understand. Can you help me understand? Whatever you do, just make sure you say something. You don't have to have the answer. You don't have to even know what's going on for at the moment. But to keep things from escalating, you'll want to respond in some way that says you care. Then, begin your study of what makes her tick, so you'll be more prepared the next time. I'll put the link to the Quick Start Guide to Understanding Women here in the description below. And always remember, I'm here to help.